Alright, so today I'm going to be showing a demonstration of Portal running on the PlayStation Vita. It's not necessarily running on the Vita, as in it's not a game specifically designed for the Vita. It's not being emulated in any way. Rather, it's being run through a uh, remote desktop application that's been developed for PlayStation Mobile. So, what the application does is it allows you to connect to your computer and it'll just stream whatever's on the screen back to the Vita while allowing the Vita to control what's ever on the screen. So, if I pull up Portal, I can control it from the Vita and it will show up on the Vita, of course, with a little latency. Um, this was also shown in a video a few days ago, a week ago, uh, called Left 4 Dead. Uh, and that demonstrated Left 4 Dead being streamed for the Vita. This is the same app from that developer. Um, what he said on the developers forums though was that this is only a 30% complete app. I'm not exactly sure what he means by that. I've personally had a few freezing issues and of course streaming is a little bit slow for me compared to the video but I'm not sure if uh, the streaming is anything that can be fixed through code or if that's just my connection. Uh, the f I'm really not sure uh, what he could improve on really. Uh, but um, here we go. So I have Steam on my computer, and uh, there's the Vita. So let's get that up and running. So you have to have the uh, PlayStation Mobile development app installed on the Vita, and that can actually be downloaded just by going to a website in the Vita's browser. Of course, you're also going to need the uh, 0.99 version development kit on the PC and that is what's going to allow you to install the remote desktop application to the Vita. If you don't have that installed you won't be able to get anywhere. And uh, how that works is you download the application from and the source code from uh, Mediafire is uh, where he hosted it and uh, just drag the solution into PlayStation Mobile it should recognize it and should compile without error. Just have your uh, Vita connected to your computer via USB and it should just transfer it right onto there. So you run PSM, give that a second. I have three apps, the uh, overlay sample, a uh, different app, and the Vita remote client you're going to want to run the remote client. That's the only app that you'll be installing if you're interested in this. So stay black for a few seconds. And up, up pops the screen. In the middle you'll see a default IP address followed by the port, uh, connect and a cancel button. Uh, as far as I'm concerned the uh, cancel button really doesn't do anything. Up in the left corner, you'll see an FPS counter, frames per second, uh, and that's that doesn't do anything now, but once you're connected, it'll tell you uh, how many frames you're receiving from the computer. So, on the PC side, also in that media fired download is a uh, server that comes in an executable file. So you're going to want to run that. Your IP will come up in the uh, lower right hand corner followed by a uh, user interface up here. That allows you to change the resolution of what's being streamed, the capture area, and the image quality. Uh, just because, I'm just going to go ahead and set all of these to their maximum. So you get a resolution of 480 by 270, capture area of 800 by 600, and an image quality of 95%. Obviously you're not going to get 100% quality through this. This also has an FPS counter. It says 65 and it will also change. Uh, it's not always consistent with what the Vita says though. So we uh, plug the IP address in to the application, then hit the connect button. And if you'll notice the frames drop and there's the desktop on the Vita. So the controls are uh, built into the program. There's no way you can just hit a button on the Vita and change your key mappings, which is kind of annoying for now, but that can probably be fixed. Um, there's, of course, different options uh, that you can use. For example, the left analog stick controls uh, WASD, which is useful for shooters. And uh, the right analog stick controls the mouse, so find the mouse on there. 
and you'll see it's a little bit choppy and uh, that'll definitely show when we boot up the game uh, you can also which is really cool tap on the Vita anywhere you want to uh, put the mouse there so for example you move the mouse there there and of course that shows up on the screen I'm just you know playing with the mouse that's all fun but uh, the real fun comes when you uh, boot up the game so let's uh, go to library and uh, play portal and the only reason I'm choosing portal is because there's not the my computer runs it well there's not a lot of uh, problems with getting it to run on there uh, it's a bit slower to stream to the Vita I've noticed you'll see that the frame counter just goes all over the place 13 8 25 35 and that's kind of a problem when you're willing to play when you're wanting to play a game especially uh, if it's an intense one let's say uh, I own Modern Warfare 2 uh, a game like that probably would not be suited to streaming at this time it's just not a viable way of playing it anywhere in your house what I will say however is that the Vita is a great controller and noticed very little latency while uh, playing Portal. Uh, of course, I can't really make it that far because I don't have a key binding to pick up the companion cube, so I don't make it that far into the first level. Uh, that said, you know, it's not bad. You'll notice it's not showing the full screen here. Uh, it's a little bit wider on the screen than uh, the resolution that's being streamed to it, so I have to control this part, you know, with the mouse. Fun. We'll just go from there and start a new game. So, yeah, it just loads everything on the PC, streams it to the Vita. Nice and easy. So you'll see, if I use the Vita's controls, it's very slow to look around, but uh, moving is fast enough. And uh, on the Vita, that's a little bit of a problem. Because I can see my PC screen, I can figure out where I'm moving to. The, on the Vita, however, if I didn't have that screen, it might be a problem. It, audio also isn't streamed, which is, you know, I kind of expect that. Uh, so for gaming, you'll definitely still want to have your computer close by. As a controller, though, really good. Really good. Since aiming's a little slow, you can just tap, 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 move the camera around, and that works pretty well. I presume once you get the portal gun you can just always tap, because tap also works as a click, and that's kind of hard to get it to recognize sometimes if you're uh, in a folder system for example, but it works. So. Changing the key mappings around will definitely help a lot in regards to uh, how well the game works. But yeah, it's the actual software works. The game is playable. You just need to change the key bindings around. And it's really cool. I like it a lot. And I look forward to playing with it more in the future. Uh, as soon as I can either get it to stream better or the program streams better. Can't imagine that that can be really fixed through code, I guess. But yeah, that's the uh, remote desktop app. It can be used for games, applications on your computer, anything, really. Gaming's just the example everyone wants to use because, well, that's what the Vita was designed for. And uh, that's all, I guess.